very briefly, and that is that it's essential as water is to our life. A citizen's voice is essential to our democracy. And none of us, every one of us, should feel good today that democracy is alive, well, and thriving in northern Wisconsin as a result of this nine and a half hour uh, hearing. You have improved the democratic process, and your voices will be heard. <coughs> uh, like uh, to uh, you know, kind of go down the other end, Steve Smith, who came up and spent the entire day on Shell Lake. I'd like to make a couple words uh, to Nick, and then I want to say a couple things about Dan before she speaks. First, I want to say, Bob, you win. I tried to make it without a break, you did. <laughs> <You're> sipping water. <laughs> but uh, I want to thank everybody for coming and speaking. And be respectful of the different viewpoints. There's no magic button here. But, I mean, you know, water is the thing, and I don't think anyone can dispute that. We're going to be outdoors. But I don't think we'll be outspoken. Oh, 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 oh. 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 I too would like to thank everybody for coming out today. We've had a lot of great testimony and a lot of you have sat here all day. Um, I think the most important thing for me when it comes to public hearings is the fact that when you sit and listen, <coughs> you learn. And a lot of times people are too busy in their lives to actually sit and listen and take in what people are trying to convey. And it's unfortunate that we have a lot of colleagues that don't have time to listen to the people of Northern Wisconsin. And what I can tell you is, when I had an opportunity to testify before the Mining Committee in Madison, I was, I was very upset when I was cut off by the chairperson. Um, but not as upset as I was when I was driving home listening on the radio and they cut the testimony off and I knew there were still people waiting to be heard. And that, to me, shows a tremendous disrespect for our democratic process here in Wisconsin. And we are very fortunate to have leaders like Senator Joe who have led a common sense, respectful approach to this issue, a very emotional issue for a lot of people over the course of the last couple of years. And Senator Choke, I, I, I really don't know how he does it. He has not got up from that seat all day. It's a long day, I, and it's been a long couple of years for Senator Choke. And I'm right there with them, and I just want to say, from the people that testified today, especially the, the young people. We had a couple young people from North Bank College, there's a young lady over here from Bad River. It's just the people of Northern Wisconsin are different than the rest of the people in the state, and I'm always so impressed by the folks up here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You give me the courage and energy to go down to Madison and try to represent your voice as, as well, as best as I can. And I've learned a lot from Bob over the years and uh, love serving with Janet and just want to thank them for their service too. Thank you all. Thank you.
but Jim has just been such a champion for Northern Wisconsin. And enduring two years in which she spoke the truth, spoke the power of the truth, and uh, I'm so appreciative of the partnership that we have by representing Northern Wisconsin. Her sense of fairness, uh, her sense of respect, uh, and her sense of duty to do what's right for the people of Northern Wisconsin. So thank you, Janet. Yeah.